Hide this. Let's see if he wants to join up. XQC. Here, I'll create a do DM. He's in here. There he is. Can you cam up X or not? Oh, yes. Your OBS is open. Hold up. Okay. Oh, my hair looks like shit. I, I was, I was going to prepare for this. So this is the, uh, the number one streamer in the world right now. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, no, it is. It is. It, yeah. He's modest. He's humble, but he is. It feels weird to be number one, doesn't it? Look at him. Aw. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't like, uh, like rankings or whatever. I think, I think it's kind of dumb. He's number one. Let Trust. me be honest with you. Rankings is everything, my man. Yeah, um, in certain regards, right? In, in certain aspects sometimes? Like, if you were number one and you lived in, like, Dubai. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know so, what number one is in Dubai, bro? No, is things different in Dubai? I'm going to take a piss. Give me a sec. Well, I've well, never, been, I never yeah. been, but I heard yeah. number one, you could do whatever you want. Oh, I see what you mean. No, nah, what I mean? Okay, let me ask you a question then. What happens when you um, let's say you as an artist, you um, you make a couple of good, a good a couple of good tracks like right now, right? And you're like number one right now, like in in this in this time. Well, number one, how do you feel? Well, to be honest, <laughs> I don't think I ever went number one. Okay, but let me ask you this though. What if you, you uh, I'm sure you probably peaked like, like really close to it, right? With the, like the billboard yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. What, how do you think you would have felt if you hit number one for even like a, like a week or whatever, or, or in a moment where you, you actually were, what happens in your mind? Just, just walk me through it. Um, well, I have definitely peaked at like, like high numbers, like I guess with like exo tour life and stuff. Um, I, 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 I don't want to sound weird, but. I feel the same. I actually feel more like powerful and stuff when I'm not number one. Like when I'm like striding for that greatness and I'm like, okay, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Yeah. Like, like, but when I'm actually number one, it's usually out of surprise because it's never the one that I think that's number one going to be number one ever. Good. Yeah. Okay. That ever. That's good. Okay. Then, then we're, we're kind of having the same, same sort of answer here then. So um whatever medallion you have to get there it, it it doesn't stop when you do get there right yeah so whatever whatever made you made you go there um whenever you get there it's not like a like it disappears like the, that mindset like disappears so that's kind of it's kind of how i feel that's why i don't, that's why I don't like ratings they, like they yeah. clutter your mind with like some so many things yeah like before you even get to like quote unquote Number one, I, I even hate, I'm not going to lie, I, I don't hate many things, but I'm starting to hate, like, the 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 word number one, because I, I get what you're saying, like, I, I, I get why you don't really, like, fuck with that, but you still strive to be the best that you can be. Like, yeah, I, get yeah. exact, I get exactly what you're saying, but it's like you have this whole different picture of number one before you get close or get there, and then when you get there, it's like, I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, oh, it sucks and I hate it. Because you, if you hate it, you wouldn't continue to do it. No, for sure. But it's, yeah. it's, it's almost to a point of like, okay, what is this? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So you, so you, you try to make a product that you're proud of, you're passionate about, and you want to make that the best. And if that ends up being number one, you're happy that it is. Because that's what you strive, you strive that's what you wanted it to be, right? But at, like, like the... The main objective isn't to be the number one. It's like the best product, whatever that, whatever that gets you. Is that how you feel when you do stuff? Right. You want to make the Correct. best thing that you can make? It's so, I'm not going to say that. It's just, it's just so mind boggling to me. Like I'll sit there and I'll like, I'll swear, I'll put it on my life. Like, I'll, I'll, like if I put my music on my life a million times, I'll be dead. And the reason I say that because Every song that I always think that is like the one is usually like the three, four, or the five. And it's always the one that I'm like, this one? Yeah. And for it's sure. like, no. yes, of course, of, of, of course that one. Are you crazy? And I'm like, well, yeah, I am a little bit like, 
off, but I'm usually on point with this stuff. And it's like, then I'm like, wow. Then, then it's like, I start getting it. Then I'm like, oh, oh. From hindsight, from hindsight, right? After, after the fact. Yeah. But, bef but bef before it's like impossible. Like it, um, you always get it wrong pretty much, right? Every, when you tr bro, yeah, every time. I don't care how, more, how advanced I get in music. I'm always wrong. Bro, it's like, it's almost a compliment to myself. It's almost like, maybe, you know what it is? Maybe I like, I, I don't give myself enough credit when I'm alone. Because I give myself all the credit in the world because all I got is me. So it's like, well, I got, I got my, my girlfriend, but all I got is me when it comes to like my thoughts. So I'm just on some shit like. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, so I'm on some shit like I know this is it. But then when it gets to that point where it's like, no, that one's it. I'm like. It just, it fucks with me. Like, not in a bad way. It fucks with me. Like, it's almost amazing to me, low key. Like, it's yeah. like, wow. I'm like, so, I, I went so, like, I think, you know what it is? I'm going to yeah. put my finger on it. It's yeah. almost to the point where it's, when I try to go, quote, unquote, traditional. You know what I mean? Yes. When yeah, I, when I try when I play it safe, and then when I just go, when, when it's something that I just go left on, everybody's like, ah, stop playing Uzi, this is what it is. Stop playing games, you know you still can do that. And I'm just like, but I, I just want the, the best for me. And I'm like, wait, so me just doing whatever I want is the best for me. Yeah, oh. I, connect, I, connect with, I connect with that a lot. And do you feel like sometimes, um, the, the times that you do uh, go traditional, or do like other things that are kind of like hitting all the boxes, kind of help you create a cushion of confidence of, of you being like, okay, now I can do some of my stuff now. Now I yes. did that. Now I can, I can do my shit. That's, that's whatever. That's true. But my music is like my children. So once, so usually when I'm listening, when I'm doing the learning process of something, when I'm trying something new, I'll try it just like how you said, I'll do it the traditional way and then pick from it and then make like my experimental out of space type sound. But sometimes I'll go that traditional way because it just sounds so darn good to me because it's like my kid. But the whole time, I got a better child over here in the cut. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can have a lot. Yeah, I'm over here trying to like praise the kid that's like scholar, straight A's, and whole time my kid that just got out of jail is like the one. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And I just feel like sometimes um, I get kind of scared that I, I kind of lose that essence of doing like whatever I want that ended up surprising me, oh, that, that did well, right? And it was that whatever. And the, things, the times that I did focus and, and, and try hard to appeal to something, failed or whatever, uh, like I'm scared of losing that, that um, the initial thought that made me do that one thing that was kind of whatever that did, that did so well, right? And it's, I gotta protect that. Story of my life. And also another way I think too is like, it's more mental than anything. Like let's just say you like do something a certain way and people are not used to it. I think that like, as especially as a man especially as the man because in your world you're the man just like me and it's like i think you should like even if they don't really respond to it if you stick to it long enough they they love you like i realize that like people love us they whoever love us love us whoever hate us hate us it don't matter if you do <clears throat> if it don't matter you could do the best thing in the world i can like give away every dollar in my bank account that doesn't make a person not hate me it just knows that, okay, I guess he's kind of a good person, but I still don't like what he stands for. I still don't yep, like his music. That's fact. So it's almost to the point that people that are riding with you and sticking with you, they're going to do, they, they, I could, I could walk around with swimming trucks on in the wintertime and the people that love me is going to do it. And the reason they're going to do it because they want to get to understand me to the point of like, that they're connected. And people that don't want to be connected just don't want to be connected. So it's like, it's all a mental game. It's like a mental game. It's almost like those people that's like, quote unquote, the haters is like the agents off the matrix. Like they're not even real people. Yeah. yeah. Because you do things that matter to you. You do things that you want to do inherently. And people care about what, what, you, what means a lot to you, right? And if you continue doing things that they mean a lot to you, the people will care about that. But if you do too many things that, that people care about, and that that changes, then you then you then you fall behind and you get lost. But I think, I, yeah, exactly. No, I'm listening. Keep going. Talking. No, some no. Real shit. Yeah. So so I think it's sometimes very very important to um even though people don't like it or it doesn't appeal to everybody, 
do something that matters to me, do something that I want to do. It makes me passionate and that will stay forever because I'll always have things that I'm passionate about, right? I will never run out, right? But yeah. if I chase what other people want, I'll always run out, you know? You'll always, you're yep. always, you're always be a step or two behind because if you do what people want, they're already off their wave. By the time they, by the time they typed or wrote something, they want you to do this, want you to do that. You're giving them satisfaction. Satisfaction is not for them. It's not like that. The satisfaction that they need is the experimental, the 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 being open to something that they never been open to. Like like okay, this is fire. Like you actually collide in worlds together instead of just being just straight. Here you go. This is what you want. Like it's always supposed to be. I mean, you could do it that way. It's, it's let me tell you something. It's a win in everything. Yeah, it's a it's a win in being lame. It's a win in being cool. It's a win in being a nerd, and it's a win in being a geek. The way you look at life. Yeah, absolutely. It it's it's just it's always a win. If you have nothing going on, and you're on here every day just to be a fucking geek, that's your life, and you can get really good at it, and you could be the top geek. You could like it's it's people out here that's like that. Like a yep. lot of a lot of blog sites that are very famous are the top geeks in the world. They're like the greatest. Like it's people that look up to them, that intern for them, that hope to be just like them. Like it's 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 everything is like the same in the whole in the world. Like it's nothing that's not different. Like everything is the same. It's just different, you know, scenarios and concepts and shit. But yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you had a lot of really good points here. Um, yeah, I just feel like um. It, just tell me if I'm wrong. I, I don't mind. I just feel like for what you do, it seems like there isn't really a formula. Yeah, there is for, for people that that are that are in your industry to follow a formula, whatever. But I feel like 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 for you, yeah, you, you have to put a lot of like what's you, and that's what people really like and we really appreciate it about you. I think is just getting um, stuff that is you, and nobody else can do it. Nobody else can do that. Only you can do that. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, it's like, but it's, it's almost a gift and a curse because yeah. it could be like jackpot. Like it could be like the, 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 oh my God, it could be the most refreshing thing in the world. And then sometimes I could be so early with something that I do that the whole world won't get it and they'll get it in two years yep. and not, then not in that moment. And by the time that two years come around, it's somebody that got it, that quote unquote to the world in their eyes perfected it, and then they accept it. It happens all the time. It's very often, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like you're either too early when you're an innovator, or it's refreshing. Like it's it's never spot on. Like that's why when it's people that have the formula, they're usually spot on because it's almost like a learning process, almost to like me. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know half of the shit that people know like i'm just going off just every day like i'm just winging this shit bro like i've been winging yep. this shit for so long bro like i've been winging it like for so long and it just feels better that, that it feels better that way because like with the formula of course you're going to get rewarded in a timely frame but when you're just winging it and you get rewarded you feel like i conquered this shit like for sure the yeah the why simplify this this sort of concept i always think about um it's kind of a weird way to think about it. So it was like the golden goose and the golden egg, right? Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter. If you're somebody who just sits back and analyzes what other people do, they're successful and just copy it, you'll always be a golden egg, right? What we should strive to be is be the golden goose, you know? Yeah, sometimes you're going you're gonna to hatch something that isn't that great, right? But you just keep hatching the golden eggs. And whoever, whoever copies your egg will be late because when, whenever you make something new and, and, and that's, that's an innovation, you're always going to be ahead of the curve. You never but, want to be a golden egg. But the scary thing is, is that sometimes the golden eggs outshine the goose because the goose are usually like the creator of the situation. And when yeah. you're the creator, a lot of stuff that got looked over was getting looked at by the golden eggs. And the golden eggs yep. take that and they simplify it. Because maybe sometimes it's like too in a raw form and too crazy for people to understand. And those eggs, they're really good at taking it and simplifying it and making the world be able to understand it. Yep. And sometimes you can't even afford to continue pushing that egg that, that you hatched that, that people don't like because they don't understand it yet. Right. And other people can because they have more resources or whatever. And they'll, they'll, they'll keep doing it until, it until it's successful. And they basically kind of didn't really steal your thing, but they kind of did. Uh, yeah. I think this, this happens a lot in streaming where uh, in our world, 
or somebody that's a very small streamer that doesn't have any uh, pull, right? Um, whenever they do stuff that's, that, that would go big, they don't, right? And it'll do it once, and some people will notice of that, and it'll just copy it, and it'll just keep doing it. And because they have the pull and the fucking, you know, all the whatever, then uh, it becomes successful. And they get all the credit. Oh, man, this guy's an innovator. No, he's not. That's a golden egg, bro. I, I don't like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't like that either. Yeah, it's bullshit. Mm, Happens I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm kind of glad that I talked to you. Like, I ain't going to lie. Man. I ain't going to lie. T, you got some cool friends. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, it's cool. He's really, this guy, I can tell. Yeah, I like X. I, I can, I can t- <laughs> That's why I call I him tell- X. I can tell I can tell that he's number one in what he does. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it's, it's just something that I know some people, right? I, I love people who just um, do stuff that, that means a lot to them and they just do themselves. And when I see that, when I see a user like that, it inspires me to, to be the same. I feel more like a free to be like, hey, man, you know, it, it'll work out. Just do your thing. And I think there's not a lot of people that, that have that. And whenever I see it, it's really inspiring, you know? It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie. And, and another thing, I don't, I don't like really like all the, and when you're the golden, when you're the eggs, you know you're the eggs. And it's like, no disrespect to the, like, the golden eggs out there, but because you play a good, you play a part in this shit where yep. you literally like help us really realize we're the goose. Like, you really like, you copy off us and do all what we do. And it's like, okay, you force us to strive to even, to do something even more crazier than we did before, or even more better. So like, uh, you, you need the golden egg sometimes to be the goose. Cause imagine if it was a bunch of just, imagine if it was all goose running around. Yep. Yeah, it would make no sense. And a lot of times you would actually lose on stuff. If you, if you innovate something that didn't do well, right? And nobody, nobody picked it up and continued doing it until, until it went well, maybe you would have lost something entirely. And you can't really blame them some people, you did like, I understand. People will need to survive. People are part of this game. And sometimes they do whatever they need to do to survive. And I understand that. And they're still a player of the game. They're not like invalidated by it. I just mean that I, I don't really relate to doing that. And that's just not what I am. But I understand where it, where it come from. And I'm not going to hit on it too much, you know? I got a goose down there, bro. Crazy. I, I know, bro. I see it. Yeah. That's okay. uh, yeah, Sally the goose. Well, I'm glad, glad to talk to you guys, man. I was in, it's um, it's kind it's kind of late here. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to, get to get some water and, and get started. But uh, yo, nice meeting you, um, you and uh, nice, nice, me- nice meeting, nice meeting you too, too, bro. Good meeting you, man. Right. Yeah, hopefully yo, see right. you soon. Damn right, man. All right, see you later, bro. Right, see bro. Later, man. But all right, Uzi, listen. Now I got two. So before oh, we got X in here, I asked you about. There's two guys that love you, so I'm gonna add them in right now. Let's see here. How the hell do I do this? Let's see. Let's add this in. Poke, he loves you. And then, I don't know if you know Andy here. Oh, Poke's, oh, Poke's getting on now? Yeah, yeah. Poke's